Hey guys and girls, it's David from Camber here. It's been a little bit of a while. I've been enjoying some me time. I've uh, been also very, very busy with some video work for some clients, as well as the uh, brand new Camber Media Racing project, getting the, uh, the old Peugeot 107 up to scratch ahead of next year. But we don't get any respite. We're still going with the videos. And today we're going to try and give you some pointers on how to speak a little bit more easily to the camera. Uh, when I start doing film and work, and even now, you know, I will fluff up takes. I will speak to the camera, get halfway through what I want to say, and then completely botch it up in the most spectacular way. Um, so I want to try and give you some tips to make it a little bit easier for yourself to get things done. So tip number one is have an idea about what you want to say. I would, wouldn't recommend writing it all out what you want to say. Don't, don't script it. But write down the ideas of what you're trying to get across, the core bits, the, the like the tick list of what you're trying to get across. So like say you're talking about your brand new car. It's got four wheels. You know, it's got a roof, it's got a steering wheel, it's got gears, it's a manual gearbox. You know, the key core components of the point you're trying to get across. Then that way, at least if you're talking around about it and you're going A to B in loads of different directions while you're talking, it doesn't matter because you've got those key points um, covered. So just have an idea about what you're, what you're wanting to say and then roughly try and stick to that. Tip number two, I guess, would be okay with making mistakes. Now, as part of this, this journey that you're going to go through, you're going to start off rubbish or not very good at something, and you're hopefully going to be much better when you get to the other side. But to get there, you've got to actually work through it. You've got to make the mistakes. You've got to fluff up your lines, but you've actually got to record videos. You've got to make the attempt to, uh, to better yourself. So... When I started doing videos, like I say, I was terrible. I'm still terrible at doing videos, but the difference being is I'm much more comfortable than I ever was before, simply because I sat the camera on the tripod, I've got myself mic'd up, and I hit record. And I just do it again, and again, and again, until I'm happy. That's why you've got a big memory card there. That's why you've got the delete button. If you're not happy, you can delete what you're not satisfied with and just keep going until you are happy. But don't be ashamed of being rubbish at the beginning, knowing that you're going to constantly be improving because putting out something is still better than not putting out anything at all because that's what separates you from everyone else right now. Tip number three, and this is going to sound super cliched, but you know I love my cliches, is relax. So if you're on the video and you are really, really struggling because you're like hyperventilating and you're <gasps> Deep breath, smile, and just straighten yourself up. So all you have to do is just arch your back, straighten it up, and just deep breath in. And then what that'll do is that that naturally sort of elevates your posture. It gives you a little bit more confidence than you would have before. And the smile, whenever you smile, it comes across in your voice. And that sounds really, really daft. But when you smile, if you're talking like this and you're monotone and you don't care about what you're saying, and nobody, nobody's going to listen to what you're saying. Whereas if you're smiling and you're happy and you're enthusiastic about what you're saying, and you know, you're, you're chirpy, it comes across in your voice. Your voice naturally modulates. It goes up and down and it keeps your attention when you're listening to it because it's not the one tone. It's not this consistent, boring, sleepy tone that uh, sends people to sleep when they're watching it. So smile, deep breath, and just have fun when you're doing it. Tip four, if you find yourself lost or getting lost very often when you're doing a video, is start it again and slow down. Say less, but say more. And what that means is quite simply just taking the, the, um, the conscious effort to slow down when you speak, to notice every single word going out of your mouth and the way that you're saying it and why you're saying it and what comes next. And what you find is that when you slow down, 
everything else relaxes and you can get into a rhythm, you can get into a story. So what happens when you're flustered, when you're stressed or when you're anxious, when you're in front of something that you don't like doing, i.e. in front of a camera, your heart rate raises, your heart rate elevates and your body goes into panic mode. It goes into this fight mode where it's just like, right, I don't like this, I, I need to get this out as soon as I possibly can because I hate doing this, so if the faster I do it, the faster it's done. And you speak at a million miles an hour. Nobody can understand you when you're doing the video and nobody will listen. You'll get yourself lost, you'll get yourself confused and you'll get yourself muddled in the middle of a sentence because there's only so fast that your brain can go when it's in that fight or flight mode. And what will normally happen is that it'll, it'll buffer, it'll get stuck halfway through and you won't notice this until you're mid-sentence and you'll be like, and then you've lost words and then you have to start all over again. So just take a deep breath. Again, go back to the other things. You've thought about what you wanted to say. If you need to think about it again, absolutely do that. Smile, raise your back, and that's you good to go. Slow down and everything will be absolutely fine. Tip number five, and this is, this is a cool one actually when you think about it. Speaking to the camera is so much easier than speaking to an actual person. So I don't know about yourselves, but when I'm in a crowd, I, I get very nervous. So I'm, a, I'm a, one of these people that, that needs to be loved. I need for everyone in the room to like me. Otherwise I start feeling anxious and insecure. Why don't you like me? Why don't you want to be my friend? Whereas when you're speaking to a camera, you're not speaking to anyone. You're speaking to a bit of glass and it actually makes it a lot easier when you're doing that because you can put yourself across an any way whatsoever, whereas you normally wouldn't do that when you're in person with someone else. So that's why you, you kind of really fall for these YouTube people because they're these characters, but when you actually meet them in real life, they're not the same as they, they are uh, behind the camera. So you can feel free, feel uh, you know emboldened to be a little bit brighter than you normally would be in real life because it's just a lump of plastic, metal and glass that you're talking to. It's not until you get it onto the computer and you start editing it that it becomes real and it becomes a, you know, a, a tangible thing. So to recap guys, do your homework before you go on camera. Think about what you're wanting to say and the message you're trying to get across. Smile, enjoy the experience that you're doing. Be okay that this isn't going to be as good as the video that you're going to do next week or the week after that. But to get there, you need to do this video. You need to press record just now and you need to be learning. And again, deep breath, slow everything right down and just take it step by step. You've got a big memory card in your camera. You don't like what you do. Hit delete, start again, press record, but make sure you get it out, guys. I hope these tips have really, really helped you. As always, we will be trying to get loads more videos out in the, uh, the foreseeable future. We've got a lot of work to do because we're obviously, we've got a skinny little part of the season left to go and it's all about next year. We're all gonna be working together to make sure you guys get on the grid and I'll be joining you as well. In the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I'll see you later.